Well, this weekend we want you to come out and run or walk with My Sister's House for Run for a Safe Haven. My Sister's House is an organization that provides services to victims of domestic violence and human trafficking. And joining me right now to talk more about the event and how you can get involved is Nilda Valmars from My Sister's House. And Nilda, this is the third year, I believe, right, that ABC 10 uh, has been a uh, sponsor and involved with this event. Uh, very, very important to us. We all know that domestic violence and human trafficking are two big issues here in our community. Um, but tell our viewers how they can come out this Saturday and participate and help raise awareness and funds for a very important cause. Yes, all they have to do is go to William Land Park, the part by Freeport and Sutterville, and they can register at 8 o'clock and come join the fun. Okay, so you can come out tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, Land Park, simple, easy. Uh, all, all experience levels, right? They don't have to run if they don't want to. They yes. can walk. Yes, and sometimes people just come and watch the uh, entertainment, and so it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And what's really important is that it shows support. Our domestic violence victims so, much, so appreciate having, mm -hmm. seeing all the community of supporters that, they, that there are. Yeah, because that's a part of the healing process, right? Knowing that they're not alone, that they're not stuck in a situation, that they can move forward and, and start a new life, right? And for some, it's helpful for them to even acknowledge that they have a problem and that, they're, mm -hmm. that they need to leave the situation. And seeing that support enables them to do that. Yeah, and, and let's talk a little bit about the services that My Sister's House offers. What are the main services that you really focus on? So we do education. We also have a 24-7 helpline. We have a counseling and legal services, and we have a Women to Work program, which helps get survivors back on their feet financially. And of course, mm -hmm. we have our safe haven. We have sh an emergency shelter, a transitional shelter, and a, human tr and a shelter for human trafficking victims. Okay, you guys do a lot. You do a lot for these victims. And uh, as mentioned, it's an opportunity for you guys to come on out participate in this walk run. This is one of the major fundraisers to help support all those amazing services that you do offer these victims. And this is for, I know you, you serve mainly women and children, but there are men as well. You serve everybody when it comes to being a victim of these heinous crimes. Um, so once again, come on out. The event is fun. As she mentioned, people come to just party and be a part of it. So you have entertainment, you have band, you have dancers, you have food. Good food, you yes. Have <laughs> great food, I love the food. And you also have a costume contest as well. There's there's a kids run that starts at 830. Yes. And the correct. race itself starts at 9 o'clock. 9 yes. o'clock. And we say race loosely, right? If you want to go all out, go all out. You can run as hard as you want. However, but if you want to walk, run, uh, just come out and be a part of the event. Nelda, one more time, where can our viewers go so they can sign up and be a part of this? They can go tomorrow to William Land Park, uh, Freeport and Sutterville. And we'll be there and you'll see the balloons and you'll see all the great people. Okay, all right. And sign up when you get there, 8 a.m. We'd love to see you guys. Nelda, thank you so much. And such a pleasure to be a part of this event.